Hi guys, welcome back to HAG Studios. Today I have something special for you. We are downtown Kingston. And for those of you who are not so sure, Kingston is the capital city of Jamaica. We're going on an art walk. And what has happened over the last six years is that a lot of murals have been added to the city. So walls that were once old and crappy and dirty are now beautifully done with striking murals. I want to take you along with me as we explore the streets and look at the beautiful murals which have added so much to the city. So come with me. Registering in the Kinson Creative Office, situated above the old Swiss store building at the corner of Church and Harbor Streets, our group was on our merry way with our tour guide Christine. She's just full of eyes. <laughs> There are these large striking murals in vivid colors spread across downtown. But the main tour takes us along Water Lane a street now lined with concrete pavers, making it a pedestrian walkway. The murals celebrate the lives of many of Jamaica's venerable musical artists, representing mento, ska, reggae, dancehall, and much more. Garnet Silk. He had a beautiful voice. He was a beautiful soul and he was doing so well. And we were, we were sad when he had to leave us the way he did at that age. Oh, 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 Also murals which speak of Jamaican life, the good and the bad.
along the way, there are areas for artists to display and sell a wide selection of beautifully crafted pieces. Of course, there's also food. Lots of food. Photo op possibilities are endless here. A young artist is here painstakingly making her creative and colorful mark. Beautiful. So this is Pamela Chance. Uh-huh. Here's a peek into a spacious bar along the path with a feel of bygone years. Real retro. I'm here with Doris Gross, one of the directors of Kingston Creative, and she's going to tell us a little bit more about what's happening here in downtown. This exciting, all this exciting stuff that's happening, Doris. It's pretty exciting. Yeah. Yeah. So we are in the old Swiss store on yes, Harbour so Street, noticed. corner Church Street. Uh -huh. uh, some of the jewelry is being still sold from here, but the rest of the space has turned into a beautiful restaurant run by Uli Bankada with a nice European Jamaican fusion mix of, of lunch and dinner foods. Uh -huh. So it's, an, it's a lovely place to visit. Yes. For sure. And on the outside now, all the excitement is going on. Yes. Or a lot more excitement is going on. So Kicks and Creative started six years ago. Mm -hmm. um, we spoke with a lot of like-minded people who believed in downtown Kingston mm -hmm. um, deserving better treatment um, from all of us, from top to bottom. Mm -hmm. And uh, Uli, the owner of Swiss Stores, it was one of those persons. Um, the idea started six years ago, it turned into a concept, uh, it was activated uh, Andrea Demsachang, our executive director, has now uh -huh. over 20 persons of staff working with her on uh -huh. various projects and programs. And uh, what the idea has done is reactivated the streets of downtown Kingston, so brought a place together with people, mm -hmm. our wonderful creative culture and artists and artisans that are behind that. And there's also this renewal taking place in terms of the architecture, the business life downtown. So all of that is now coming together. It is indeed. Um, downtown has been a jewel but forgotten. Yes. And the beautiful architecture that we still have here that also is not just on the surface but tells a lot of stories of people and family and businesses who lived here for several hundred, hundred years. Um, is still in these walls and roofless buildings mm -hmm. and sometimes it requires a sort of a layer you have to peel away the layers to mm -hmm. rediscover the beauty mm -hmm. um, and to envision uh, what took place here and what could take place in the future yeah um, so we believe that bringing art into a place that's neglected and forgotten will help to revitalize it mm -hmm. on one hand and it will help the people who come and take this place over to create art as business again to have an income earning to believe that they can be artists and creatives in Jamaica mm -hmm. that they do not have to go abroad to be successful or change their creative talents into mm -hmm. another kind of job 
Okay. So our idea is really to create an art district and this is the beginning of it. So this started six years ago. There are so many big murals. Where do you find the artists to do all of this? Yes, the artists are all around us. Uh -huh. um, we have created 83 murals so far. Wow. And other entities, including the City of Kingston, the Ministry of Culture, who are supporting the same vision, have added to that. Mm -hmm. They're almost all done by Jamaican artists, and mm -hmm. the two or three that weren't were done in collaboration with, with artists from, from Jamaica. another country, right, and Jamaicans. Uh -huh. um, so uh, the talent is, is everywhere. Um, Edna Manley, College of the Visual and mm -hmm. Performing Arts. A lot of the students. A lot of the students. And I guess coming. the tutors as and well. And the tutors as well, mm -hmm. yes. And they have, I think, now found in the last couple of years a, a, a re-emergence of a possibility for them to really execute their art and their mm -hmm. creative talents. Boy, I was so impressed. Yeah. Um, how long on average does it take for them? Well, first of all, most of these murals, they're very big. They're done by a few persons or, yes, or do you are. have some that are just done by one single individual? No, it, it does take Usually, a, team. a team. It does take a team. So our artists would work depending on the size of the wall with mm -hmm. two to five persons in a team. Um, we have been able to employ a lot of painters and artists from the communities in downtown oh, who are teaming up with Edna Manley students great. or more experienced artists. Mm -hmm. um, and it was a good learning curve too for artists who tend to do their work on their own, yes. in their own little space, backyard or studio, to team up, team up and to allow the art to unfold with other persons' with other persons. inputs. What has been the response of the residents in this area? The response has been happening? has been positive. Yeah. Um, and what we find is uh, most of the murals are in Water Lane, in Temple Lane, Mark Lane, which are small lanes of Water Lane, mm -hmm. and uh, it has turned uh, a street that was dark and filthy and not the place to walk yeah. to be that street that now everybody uses to take their shortcuts or to walk from work to lunch and back and that type of thing. Okay. It's also become a place to tour. Yes. Tours are being offered now. And the tours, the art walk is the main tour and that's done when? So the Kingston Creative Art Walk takes place every last Sunday in every month, mm -hmm. consistently without failure, rain or shine, COVID yeah. or no COVID. COVID. <laughs> and uh, what it has done is we have a daily, sh a full days of schedule of performances every hour, mm -hmm. every half an hour, dance, music, poetry, art. Um, and we have vendors and artisans who bring out their creative goods that they're making. Jamaica has the most beautiful candles, soaps, lotions, jewelry. clothing, jewelry, <laughs> dresses. Yes. Um, there's beauty, there's food. Our mm -hmm. culinary art is an art form. And they have an opportunity to have an all Sunday of an explosion of activities mm -hmm. and, and to sell and be successful in what yes. they do. So that's that has been welcomed by a lot of the artists, the person, the vendors, the persons who are doing jewelry and just a lot of other things. And is is the response good? Yes, yes, it you is. do have a lot of persons who are turning out on a Sunday, it last is. Sunday, and it is definitely growing. Yes. Um, because an, an activation like that takes a little bit of time. Yes. It's a word uh -huh. of mouth. There is a lot of social media, but not everybody follows as intensely as others. Mm -hmm. And every single time a new person shows up on a Sunday, next time they'll bring another friend or a family That's member right. with them. That's and right. we believe it will grow slowly but surely. 
Um, we're looking for more property owners to be on board. Okay, because for them, for you to paint the walls, mm -hmm. they have to agree. Absolutely. But that shouldn't be so hard. They have been supportive. They mm -hmm. have been supportive, but a lot of the buildings downtown are unoccupied. The owners probably live abroad, have disease. So there are different situations that are not yeah. easy to resolve. But then there are also a lot of owners who are happy. It does increase property, property value. value. The whole environment has become cleaner. Yes. Mayor of Kingston, Delroy Williams, has been very supportive and started a partial pedestrianizing of Water Lane, yes. which will turn into Jamaica's first pedestrian zone. Okay. So that zone is aiming to connect our two cultural icons, the Institute of Jamaica on East Street mm -hmm. with the National Gallery of Jamaica on Orange Street. Okay. So that route will is already partially and will soon become entirely walkable. Um, no driving traffic except for a few residents or owners who will have delivery mm -hmm. sort of drop-off uh, opportunities which we think is important to the positive development of downtown Kingston. Yeah. Boy, I'm telling you, it's quite a transformation and it's quite, it's so interesting. I think this is something everyone should see. Yes. Thanks so much, Doris. You're most welcome. For inviting for us. For spreading the good news. And we will spread the news because and we think it's good news. It's worth it spreading. Is, it is. And I always want to thank everybody who has been participating. And I can't even count them yes. anymore or say their names because every single time someone shows up, they've participated in the success. And so have you today. So thank you very much for inviting us. Thank you. with all of this artwork done by so many persons. You need to make the effort to get here and see for yourself in person as soon as you can. Thanks for watching. In what's growing in my garden this week, we show you photos from Marcia's garden in Massachusetts, USA.